Hey everyone, thank you for joining me again and welcome to a Crash Your Stash Thursday with Clever Crafters. So once again, we're just gonna start with a standard A6 sized card. So this is literally an A4 piece of cardstock cut in half and then which makes two A5 pieces and then that A5 piece folded in half makes an A6 card. So I'm actually cutting a piece off the front of this card. So I'm going to leave seven centimeters. So I'm just lining up the fold line of my card along the seven centimeter line on my cutter there and just trimming off that edge piece you can use that piece on another project now I've cut out of the same colored card so the other a5 piece that was left over a piece that's 10 centimeters by 9 centimeters and I have scored it on the 10 centimeter edge at 1 centimeter so that gives me a 9 by 9 centimeter square so you can see that I've just put some tape runner along the edge there and now I'm just going to put some a fine line of that smart art glue on there because the tape runner that I'm using isn't quite wide enough or the um, double sided tape isn't quite wide enough to go across and I have just put it on the inside there that flap will actually go over the top. Now I've got um, the rest of that other A5 piece of cardstock and what I've done is I cut that in half and I'm just going to use, which gives me an A6 piece just in case, you know, that all got so confusing. And I'm just using the second largest die in the metric um, rectangles to cut out the perfect piece that I'm going to glue inside. So that's going to um, cover up where that join is and make it all really nice and secure. Now you could use a pattern piece of paper here or a different color if you want, but I really wanted to just use the same card and I'll write a note inside this one, but you'll see that in, well, you won't see the note, but you'll see that it's all blank at the end. Okay, so now back to the front. So I am just matting this piece of um, patterned paper. So the pattern paper was originally a 12 by 12 piece and it has actually writing over it, not that you can really see the writing and I cut it up into six pieces each piece was four inches by six inches and that's what I've been working with because I just love it I've cut a whole pile of my 12 by 12s like this because I primarily primarily make cards uh, and they're just so nice and easy to work with then I matched it up with another piece of 12 by 12 that I had cut back they weren't from the same collection or anything, but I felt the colors went really well. The only problem is, is that the first piece didn't have any black or, you know, there was no real connection between the two. So the second piece of pattern paper that I'm using had some black on it. So by matting the first piece and the second piece with black, it gives you cohesion through the card. Whew, that was a mouthful. Anyway, so I stacked um, three happies on top of one another from um, the, the Happy Birthday dies set. And I've made a little embellishment um, flower once again out of some scraps of paper and then just put it on a nice um, uh, piece of cardstock that I've cut out of the same colored cardstock um, with a scalloped edge circle and I'm just going to position that to brighten up the front. I've got a little strip that also says happy birthday so my card front says happy happy birthday and I'm just going to use some of that smart art glue to pop it on. I will of course put links below this for everything that um, that I can find and I can uh, link to so you can uh, have a look at any of these items for yourself if you wish. And to finish the card off, I am just going to glue that piece. Now that piece that I'm gluing on is actually eight and a half centimeters by eight and a half centimeters, the matte, the black matte piece. And the colored piece is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So it gives me about two and a half mil all the way around for each of those. And I did the same for the um, lower one about a half a centimeter smaller so here's my finished card i did actually make a couple of these and i've got another example in all of the slides at the end of the card but that's it for me today a nice quick and easy one um, i hope you enjoyed it i really hope you learned something which is of course the whole purpose of it um, if you're interested in making this and you want to share it please jump on over to our facebook group gold coast crafters but i'll pop a link for that below um, i really appreciate you joining me once again and um, i hope to see you next time until then stay safe and happy crafting